these Bet Balance snacks and Manjaro snacks that have helped me lose 90 plus pounds in the last year and a half of my weight loss journey. On today's episode, you're going to walk away with tons of ideas of real fresh snacks from when Zip on weight loss and Tara's appetite weight loss and more processed packaged things, you can determine what's best for your health. Let's go ahead and dive in. And these are in no particular order. I've listed down below my Amazon shopping list if you do wanna get some of the snacks to have in your car, at work. For me, it's been very helpful for unexpected times to have just little snacks nearby. Full disclosure, I have full meals. As I've been using ZetBound and working with a dietitian and trying to hit my protein goals of 100 to 120 grams of protein per day, I do want to have full meals. But in between, it's been very helpful, I'm finding, for me to have these little snacks. Certainly not the day after my shot. I'm way too full. But other days with the half-life half dose being day five, six, and seven. Let's dive in. Y'all, these are these chicken chips. <laughs> they sounded very scary. Let me just be brutally honest. They're from Wild Protein Chips. I got them on Amazon Prime Day, but I had gotten them before, actually two times before that. And the first time I threw them in the garbage, when I got them, I was like, it's chicken breast, egg whites, chicken bone broth. It has in there for this whole bag, 220, 210 calories and 13 grams of protein. I said when I first bought it, I really wanted these because other people had raved about how good they taste. When I bought them, the whole idea of eating chicken breast chickens, like it grossed me out. <laughs> Just give it 100. But then I had bought them later. I don't know. This was a while later. Rebought them because another friend was raving about them in my free encouragement group. Somebody was telling me about these and I was like, okay, I'll bite. And I went to go to Amazon to go buy them. And they were good. The barbecue ones, my boy who's eight years old for his snack, he, I focus in on how, I mean, he's a growing boy to have a lot of protein um, based snacks. And he really liked them quite a bit. And so I was like, okay. He likes them. I'm going to try them. And the barbecue is actually my favorite flavor. I actually really do like them quite a bit. The texture, I'll open these. I was saving these for later, but because I love you guys so much, I'll, I'll open the bag now so you can see what they look like. So um, I bought them on Prime Day and it was, I'm so glad. I actually bought a bunch, a bunch of them. That was one of my big Prime Day. Don't worry, I'm not going to eat it. I'm not eating anything. I know that drives some of you guys nuts. Don't worry, I'm not eating anything. I just want to show you what it looks like. So the chips, they look, the chips are chipping. The chips look really good. They're good. That is great. And it's nice to have in a lunch or if I have a sandwich, like if we go to Jersey Mike's to have these as my chips or whatever. Like if I, at nighttime, like I just want something to chill with and I have the calorie range to have with it. It is a nice snack. Now, I don't want to get into snacking habits, but having these protein things are really helping me to build my muscles. I'm really working on building my muscles and getting high protein. Zepbound snacks in. Next. Um, one, let me go over to my list because I have so many. So I am loving Bioptimizers, their protein breakthrough. Like just having a chocolate shake is easy. I used to be so against, <laughs> this is why they know self be true. Back in the day, I used to be so against like protein shakes and protein stuff. Like I just, it wasn't, I was like, I'm going to have all real food all the time, which is why I say I I'm going to have choices of those in this video and more processed stuff. I personally could not get enough protein in having all real food. It's crazy. <laughs> for me, I tried for months and months and months and I just could not hit my goals, which is why I started taking a protein supplement. I am loving by Optimizers, their protein breakthrough in chocolate. It has in there um, 230 calories and 23 grams of protein, super filling. So just having the shake, but what I've been doing recently is making a protein pudding. Have you guys heard about these? I don't, I use maybe a half of a scoop and then I just mix it with a little bit of Greek yogurt. You just keep mixing. You could even mix it with almond milk. You can mix it with water. You can mix it with whatevs. And it makes like a protein, like a muddy protein type pudding. It's really good. And you can get the consistency if you want it thinner, if you want it thicker, if you want to have like almond milk and Greek yogurt, you totally could. Like I like the Faye Greek yogurt. Um, this, by the way, the Faye Greek yogurt, like let's just pause for a moment for this. Faye Greek yogurt, um, the total 0% is 90 calories for three fourths of a cup, 18 grams of protein. Like that's crazy, by the way, that's so much protein. So I like mixing the two of these together. A half a scoop of this 
is only 120 calories and um, around 11 grams of protein on there. And then mixing it with this, it's really, really nice. So, and it's delicious. You can do this, by the way, this protein pudding idea with whatever. I like these. I'll link down below the discount code QUEEN with these. It's really, really good. Now, they do have, if you want to take it to an extra level of bouge, which... Hello, I'm the Countess of Shopping. Of course I want to take it to the extra level of bougie The extra level of bougie is then adding in their mushroom breakthrough. I'm obsessed with their salted caramel. It's so good. They do also have a chai and a chocolate. I'm not a super big chocolate person, um, but these are delicious. We had made in a previous video protein popsicles and with the Duke, he was very excited about them. It was one scoop of the protein powder, and then it was two cups of Greek yogurt. You can adjust that ratio for whatever you want. And I bought popsicle sticks on my Amazon list, which is linked in the description link below, that were food safe to make sure I wasn't poisoning us. Put it on parchment paper, and then just froze it, like making them with a little ice cream scoop into little bowls, and then put smashed pecans very sparingly on top. So high in protein, my kid loved it. I like showing my son, he's eight, the Duke, how to cook better and like to be an example. And so these were great. They were really, really good. He liked them actually more than I did. I thought they were, I had one and I was like, okay, these are good. And he like wanted to eat the rest of them. He's like, these are so delicious. So if you've got kids or for yourself, or if you're just wanting a sweet cold snack, a, a Zephon cold snack, it is really good. Really, really good to just mix again that, that um, Baye Greek yogurt is a lot a basis for my stuff. So one of my other Zephon snacks, and I was on Manjaro snacks, and I've also been on Terra Zephatide too. You see what I'm pulling out? Dun -a, dun -a, dun -a, dun -a, dun -a. If you've seen some of my older videos, yellow dragon fruit is delicious. They're back at Costco as I'm filming this at the end of July, beginning of August. They were here four months ago in rural Virginia. So what was that? August, um, that's eight. So in April-ish, they're back. They're back. Y'all, I bought four cases or four boxes or whatever, not cases, boxes. These will cause the yellow dragon fruit, not red dragon fruit, yellow dragon fruit will cause you to massively poop your brains out <laughs> if you eat too many. So I limit myself to two small ones per day. They're 100 calories for like a bigger one. So I account for two small ones this size, about 150 calories. It's so good. To me, I'm obsessed. The red, the red or like the pinkish dragon fruit, they're beautiful, but they don't taste the same. These are sweet, juicy. The seeds are good. It's heaven, truly. I cannot wait to go back to Costco to order more. I told my husband, I was like, I'm ordering like six more of these. Um, it's really good. So I will have that, but I have to mix it with a protein or else for me, I'm not gonna hit my protein goals. So I will mix it with the Faya Greek yogurt. And then if I'm getting extra bougie, which you guys, the bougie factor, I'll put some chia seeds on top to add some extra protein on there too. So that for me actually has even been a meal. Like some of these snacks have even turned into meals just because of the appetite suppression. Now, some of you guys know, some of you don't, depending on where you want on your journey. I'm at the highest dose at about 15 milligrams. I really wish I could titrate up, but I cannot. And so because of that, I'm having less appetite suppression, meaning I'm hungrier than probably you are. If you are at a lesser uh, dose than me, you're probably like, oh my gosh, I have so much appetite suppression. So you do you. Um, for me, I'm really having to make these permanent lifestyle changes. Okay. I get to implement what I've learned the last year and a half with having high protein and eating super, super healthy and working out and walking a ton and weight training and all that. I'm going to literally hear in a minute, a uh, private instruction Pilates, like who, Pilates, who am I? I don't know. <laughs> have invaders come and take in my body. Next. Um, I do like protein chips that are not made out of chicken, just in general. I like Quest, I like Atkins, I like all of them. I think that they're pretty good. Um, I like these because they taste like the Cool Ranch Doritos. These are the Atkins one. And then the Quest has taco, they're the purple bag, and they taste like Taco Bell to me. <laughs> and they have the same effects as Taco Bell as well. Ding, ding, run for the border, hon. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I got several different drinks. Okay, first and foremost, let me just say, sometimes I'm not hungry. That is still where I am working of, it's not hunger, it's, it's head hunger, not real hunger. And so discerning that for me still 18 months in is still an ongoing task. I am really, uh, with chronic obesity management treatment, I've been working really, really hard to discern the two. I feel like super underdeveloped in that area. Like I'm so good at so many things with my family and my business and other stuff and being a good mom and a wife. 
and I am very feeling deficient and I wish I was better at being able to be like, oh, my body's naturally hungry. And so discerning that, I really, Zephon has helped me so much to be like, you're full, put the fork down, or you're so full, you don't need to eat anything. And so sometimes that's the case, but I just want something. And so I like Element Sparkling Electrolyte beverages in the can. I'm finding, I love the sticks that they have. Those are great too. But sometimes I don't want to tote around my tumbler. So just having a cold can, it's been really nice this summer for mocktails. Um, if people are having happy hour, it's easy for me to bring with. Um, and my two favorite flavors are the grapefruit one, which is surprising, but it's, it's really, really good. And then also the cherry lime. My son is obsessed with watermelon. They go like this in my household. And he's an athlete, so it actually works. If you've got kids who are athletes, for me, my son loves it. And there's no dye, there's no junk added, no like nefarious additives. It's really good. I bought these recently because you guys told me in my free encouragement group, which I'll link down in the description link below, about clean, simple eats. Y'all, don't tell the count. I went on like a bender buying their stuff because I wanted to test it. You guys know I test a ton of stuff here at Countess of Shopping. So I can tell you, is it garbage or is it good? And so I was like, okay, I haven't heard of this brand. Let me try it. I originally heard about it from Jenna, the bariatric bestie on TikTok. She was talking about these and I was like, okay. She makes her profi, which I'm, I'll talk about in a little bit, but it's these clear protein drinks. I said, is it sparkling? Like these are fizzy. The element electrolytes are fizzy. Like there's, they have bubbles, carbonation. These do not no carbonation. So if you don't like carbonation, these are great. And my, one of my besties was telling me about these and he was saying, try, you know, try and tell me. And I'm like, there's no carbonation. The tropical fruit one, it's orange can. Um, and by the way, I have a discount code. It's queen. And I'll link the link down in the description link below. Um, there, I, you guys know I negotiated. Once I found out I liked it, I was like, let me negotiate a discount for you. That'll be on the shopping list down below. 20 grams of protein, 16 ounces, no artificial ingredients, lactose free. So if you have lactose issues with protein, this is a great resource for you. 60, excuse me, 90 calories for the full can. I couldn't really finish my cans. I like, I struggle to it, but the cheapskate in me is like, finish it. Because <laughs> I have a hard time. We've talked about this in the free encouragement group about being a clean plate club member. And also I'm really trying to break that as well as one of the things I'm continuing to work on. Um, but this was good. Like it's very filling the tropical one, which is the orange label. It's very pineapple forward. So they have several flavors. So I recommend them. They're cold. It's nice. It's easy to take this with me in the car for like car pickup line, um, where I want to be full with something. And so this is easy, easy. We like easy snacks and I cannot lie. By the way, going back to the Faye thing, I will mix fruit often because of the fiber in there. So it was just plum season here in Virginia. Before that, it was peach season and nectarine season. And before that, it was cherry season and the strawberry season. So like whatever fruit is in season, soon we're coming up on honey crisp apples here in Virginia. I think it starts in a couple of days of where we can go pick at the local Virginia orchards. If you are in Virginia, go off Route 7. The best one is Macintosh Farm. You will thank me later. And then also, let's see, there's another one. Um, it's not off Route 7, it's off Route 50 in Winchester, Virginia. Drive out there, it's country, and it's so good. It's, they have the best apples, literally. The best apples. If you're anywhere near that, you'll thank me later. You'll say, Countess, you were right. And I'll say, I know. It's Spring Valley Farm in Winchester, Virginia. They have the best apples as well. Anyways, cut up those apples or whatever fruits in season, and then put them in with your Faye Greek yogurt. Boom. Three-fourths of a cup, 18 grams, you'll be so full. So full. That's a meal in itself. A meal in itself. And then you have the fiber from the fruit. And it tastes like dessert E2, which I really, really like. Next snack. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, these just came out. Everyone was talking about these, and I was like, I have to go buy them. You guys know I say it wrong. My husband's like, that's not how you say it, which per the usual, I'm mispronouncing it. Barbell. I was calling it Bear Bell earlier. It's Barbell. Barbell, bear bell. I was saying it wrong. My husband's like, that's not how you pronounce it. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm selling a nitwit. It's the new flavor they have, birthday cake. Um, I'll link it on the Amazon list down below. 20 grams of protein. It has literally like Funfetti. Are you guys familiar with Funfetti? If you're a foodie, you know Funfetti. It has in there that um, 20 grams of protein. It's good. It's really good. My favorite from Barbell, Bear Bell. Barbell, mispronouncing it still, um, is their 
white chocolate one. My husband is obsessed with the peanut one. It has to be the whole chunk. There's two different kinds of peanut ones. It has to be the whole chunk peanut ones. These are really good. Really, really good. My kid liked it too. I don't know if I give this to my kid every day. Sometimes if he's like, can I have a protein bar? I'm like, sure, but like, it's not a daily thing for him. For me, I like these quite a bit. They're really good. It does say um, excessive consumption may lead to a laxative effects. So just FYI, <laughs> don't, I haven't experienced that. It's been delicious with one. And again, something that's easy and quick. And if I'm in the car and I'm trying to sustain myself for like my big zip bound meal. Okay, next, hold your pearls. In my free encouragement group, someone recommended these. The Quest cheese crackers. They're like, oh, they taste like um, Cheez-Its. I said, that's music to my ears. I love Cheez-Its. Oh my God, I love Cheez-Its. And by the way, also, I do need to say this. We, we, I'll use my I statements for myself, myself. I can eat anything I want on ZepBound. I just need to be mindful of portions and how does that align with my weight loss goals? Comma, I choose to have more high protein snacks because I'm trying to hit that protein goal. I'm trying to build muscle. I don't wanna have muscle mass loss. I'm trying, like, it keeps me fuller longer. Like, there's so many, it's intentional by design. So for your snacks, you can absolutely have Cheez-Its. And I, in fact, I have. <laughs> in fact, I have enjoyed the Cheez-It or two. But I'm choosing to have these other things because of the protein in them. Um, obviously trying to be mindful. I feel like there's negative people that are gonna come for me in the comments and you can just look at them later and be like, ha 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 ha. They didn't make it to this point on Elizabeth's video because I am trying to say it. I can have whatever I want and I can have tons of chicken breasts if I wanted to or tons of fish or tons of other um, protein sources. But y'all, I'm trying to keep this exciting. For me to make this a lifestyle, permanent lifestyle change, I have to enjoy it. And this is making it more enjoyable for me. So don't pee on my, my bush, okay? Some people are gonna come in and be like, like, don't be on my bush. Like, no, 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 no. I'm having a good time here. Okay, so Quest, these cheese crackers, they look like Cheez-Its. I'm not going to eat it on camera, but they taste not like Cheez-Its. Um, they have that, like, protein chip. So if you go into these thinking, oh, it's going to be just like Cheez-Its, you will be sorely mistaken. <laughs> you'll be like, oh, you'll be disappointed. I don't want you to be disappointed. I want you to go in with realistic expectations. With protein chips, protein crackers, pro there's a different texture. It's different. And then this has 130 calories, 10 grams of protein for these. Do I have these every day? No. But do I have snacks like these occasionally? Yes. I probably have the drinks, some form. I definitely have my electrolytes almost every day. And then the different protein stuff, I'll leave it in once a day because it's fun for me. And it really does help me hit my protein goals. Next, I'm saving these for the Count. The Count loves these. He ate all of them last time. I'm like, where did they go? He's like, oh, I ate them. I was like, that's okay. I also got these, by the way, from my Prime Day sale. If you guys saw on Amazon Prime, they were also, I stocked up. Check out that Amazon shopping list down below. Okay, next things that I bought that I'm really, really excited about. These are the new ones. It's Clean Simple Eats Collagen. It's Lemonade Collagen. Who knew? Jenna Bariatric Bestie, that's who I'm, I'm gonna give credit to who, who I got this from. It's 40 calories, it's blackberry lemonade collagen. It turns pink, which kind of scares me, but that's okay, it tastes really good. My, my kid loved it. I had some in my Tumblr yesterday. He's like, mama, can I have a sip? And I'm like, sure. And he's like, oh my God, this is the best thing. And I'm like, I know, it's so good. It tastes so good. Um, it's very sweet tasting. So I actually even watered, I'm not a big sweet person, so I watered my down even more um, in a 40 ounce tumbler. It says 16 to 20 ounces, I put more water in there. I put it to 40 ounces. And that was, I really actually was sipping on it and enjoying it. Only 40 calories, nine grams of protein, um, it's, it's good. And the number one ingredient is grass-fed, um, hydrolyzed collagen, types one, two, and three. Um, it's good to me. So, and they have other flavors. They have, and I'll link down below again, that extra 10% off discount with Queen. They have a peach collagen, which I bought because you guys told me to. Someone in our free group set up, go buy it. And I'm putting in an unsweet tea later today. I'm so excited. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, that sounds really good to me. So it'll be unsweet tea from like a fast food joint. And then I'm gonna ploppy plop in there the, uh, the, the peach collagen. And get my collagen. It's, um, how much collagen? How much is it? It's 100% grass fed. And yeah, there's 30 servings in here too, by the way. 
With the extra discount, the prices, I was actually really excited with when you add the discount in, because I bought all my stuff. Like, let's be clear, I bought all this. Um, it was not, um, I, well, I bet Element sent me some more cans, because I asked. I was like, can I please have some? I had, bought, I had bought my own cases, and they sent me some more cans. Um, I also bought the Clean Simple Eats, it's coconut cream. I am going to put this into, and I will link it down below, my Ninja ice cream maker. And I'm gonna make coconut ice cream. Coconut, does it look like I fell out of a coconut tree? Um, I'm going, did you guys see that on TikTok? I am going to make coconut ice cream with this and I will tell you if it tastes disgusting or not. I have not tried this at all, but in terms of just the shake, I'm really excited to use it. It has, for one scoop, 100 calories, 20 grams of protein. So I'm gonna put that in um, either to make the protein pudding, the protein um, ice cream, which I'll link my protein ice cream recipe is on countessofshopping.com. I will link it down below. If I forget, just tell me. It's not normally in my description link. Just tell me, say, Elizabeth, where's that recipe you said? I'll make sure I put it in there if I forget, but I shouldn't forget. The other thing is profies. If you stayed this far, you are getting the biggest gift ever. I recently just did a YouTube short video on profies, which is protein coffee. They are delicious. My bestie had introduced these to me. And because he did, I started watching Jenna Bariatric Bestie, and she does profies. So then I started being like, I'm gonna start making profies. I'm obsessed. And I make my protein coffee, profi is protein coffee. Um, the, my profies are decaf. I can't, I'm already high energy, let alone adding more coffee. No, my heart can't take it. So I have decaf in mine. And so I'm really excited to have this. I tried their cake batter. It was good. It was different than Premier Protein's cake batter. Um, and again, Bioptimizers is my ride or die. I'm obsessed with their chocolate plant-based protein, but they don't make other flavors besides the chocolate, which is why I've gone over to try the Clean Simple Eats um, or else I would just have bioptimizers because I love their stuff. Like I love their collagen, um, the mushroom breakthrough. Um, it supports healthy brain functions. It's so good. Like the mushroom, if you've been hearing so much about like mushroom coffees and stuff like this, this is just the powder in it, but I put it in my coffee. It's delicious for like, um, you, they have chai, so you can make a chai coffee out of it or chai tea or whatever. It's really, really good. You could put it in your pudding. You could add that into one of those protein puddings. Um, there's a thing called protein fluff. You mix that with sugar-free Jello packets. I haven't gone down that route so much, um, just because Jello packets don't have any protein. So, but you mix that with protein powders. And so I'm like, I got my profies going. I got my profy pops. I got my protein popsicles. I've got like, there's so many things you can make out of these. And it's the bottom line out of all these snacks: find what you like. Find what you like and enjoy them. Um, one of the things I really love is having these also a snack midday. So it's not my breakfast and it's not my lunch or sometimes it's after lunch in between lunch and dinner. I'll have my vitamins, my Gem Bites vitamins. I'll link these down below. They've been very generous with the Countess of Shopping community to give 50% off the first month. I'll have my daily vitamin, my daily supplement with one of these snacks. And so it's just eat, like it's easy. I like popping these too. They taste so good. They taste citrusy. Um, but they have prebiotics and probiotics. So if you're having constipation issues, you should do the magnesium. Oh, I'll use my ice I use uh, the magnesium and I'll link that down below with the discount code and also that. And that just keeps the, the poops at bay. <laughs> Either diarrhea or constipation, pick your poison. It just keeps everything good. Good. But if you have too many of these dragon fruits, queen or king, you will be on that toilet for days. I made that mistake. And if you guys saw the video back in April, I was in my car. I lost like 50 pounds. I had, I think, maybe three or four big ones. Y'all, I didn't know the laxative effect. But it's the yellow dragon fruit, not the pink ones, not the red ones, not the, it's the yellow ones. And if you get them from Costco, mmm, mmm. I don't know, does Sam's Club have them? Are you guys, um, I'm also a Sam's Club member. I haven't been recently. Does Sam's Club have those? I need to go check. Because some of you guys are like, I don't have Costco near me. Uh, so, oh, my nail tech, who I love, her name's Lan, had recommended getting yellow dragon fruit from the Asian grocery store near our house, the international grocery store. So I'm going to go check there too. She said that they're fresh and they're really good there at the Asian international. So I'm going to check that one out as well. Sweet friends, I think I'm trying to think if there's anything. Let me check my, I made a whole list. I made a whole list. I want to make sure I got through the whole list for you guys. 
Um, we already talked about those. Yeah, okay, that was not all my things. How exciting is that? Okay, I think we've done the thing. We've, we've, done, we've done the that and then some. Um, many of you guys were asking about the eye cream from Crepe Erase because you guys know I'm obsessed with recommending Crepe Erase for my loose skin. That's also on the Amazon shopping list. That, the list will be separate. So I'll have a list to Amazon um, for snacks. And then I have like my Amazon shopping list for Majaro and Zepbound and Terra Zepatide. This is great for loose skin. People have asked, is the eye cream as good? Yeah, it's phenomenal. It's incredibly thick and rich, which is why I like it. Um, and for me, I have bags and creping underneath here. It is awesome. It's like a little eraser. No, it's not, it's not completely eraser, but it does help very much. Very, very, very much helps. It very much helps. I think I just took off some of my concealer though. Oh, I did. It's on my finger. But I like the texture. So people are asking, is it worth the money? Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, it's worth the money. I think we've had a great day together. Um, your accountability question, what are you doing today to move you closer to your goals? To your emoji of the day is a taco. <laughs> you've made it this far in the video. Our emoji of the day is a taco. That's like our bat signal that you've made it this far. It helps me to get to know you better. And part two of that is I'll rec because I'll recognize your name. And two, I'll pray over you. If you don't believe in prayer, I'll uplift you in positive thought. If you are running or on a treadmill, give yourself an extra and working out. Give yourself an extra pat on the back. A big old count us pat on the back. I'm proud of you. I know many of you are going to get your workout in later. Let's make that the focus too of our day today of eating healthy and physical activity. And if you're just starting, then don't get overwhelmed focusing on both. Focus just on one. Sweet friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I'm Countess of Shopping. Count my blessings because life is delicious, literally. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.